As we continue our retro review series, we have now Arena after this. Hello out there, I'm the Oldest Nerd, and in Arena, uh, this is the first script for the series written by Gene Kuhn, who was the associate producer and came up with most of the ideas of the Klingons, the Prime Directive, and other things that we take for granted in the Star Trek universe. And uh, we start to see uh, a couple of things uh, appear in this episode. The first mention of the Federation, as I know it. Uh, also, uh, sublight speed, although they used it in the same episode as space normal speed. There were these things that uh, were being included into the episodes at last uh, that we've become so familiar with in more recent years. This is the first time that we have heard of the Metrons and of the Gorn, and that was probably the only time that they were mentioned in the original series. Uh, the Gorn were mentioned again uh, in Strange New World, so it's been quite some time since there was really any mention of them uh, or the Metrons for that matter. Uh, I believe the Metrons were mentioned in uh, Lower Decks, but uh, not very much. This is one of those things where uh, they were playing around with uh, uh, real exploration in this episode, and it's why some people give it uh, a very high mark for the original series. In uh, some uh, polls that I've read, there have been anywhere from uh, number six of the original series to uh, number 10 of the entire uh, canon of programs that have been made from Star Trek. Not one of my favorites, however, and that's just me. Uh, I can't get past uh, the guy in the rubber suit and uh, kind of the clunky way that uh, they dealt with it. The, the first part of it where they have the battle scene was actually pretty well done. The uh, latter part of it where there is the standoff with the Gorn itself uh, showed, uh, first of all, this, this double fist uh, type of... Uh, punch that uh, Kirk used in various episodes. I don't think I've ever seen it in the other uh, action-adventure television program. Uh, obviously, uh, at the time where you have low-resolution pictures and um, most people who even had color TV at the time uh, didn't have it uh, where uh, you could see a lot of detail that you can today. Uh, that probably just uh, helped showing uh, that he could put a, some power behind a punch. Anyway, uh, in my opinion, the, the, the Gorn looked very much like, you know, a caveman in a, in a rubber suit uh, because of how he was dressed. It was kind of a Fred Flintstone outfit. They had kind of uh, sparkly eyes. I guess for the time it was, it was pretty good costuming. And um, they do make you believe that this was a, a uh, muscular fellow. And so it follows that uh, he wouldn't be hurt by being hit by rocks and things like this. It's believable that uh, Kirk would be losing the fight until he figures out how to make gunpowder. It was just the things in between that bothered me about it. Uh, they, they send them down there with uh, communicator and recording devices. And immediately... Uh, Kirk has to go into a narrative. I, I really don't understand other than just to tell the viewer what we're seeing uh, that it was necessary at all. It seems like we could just see the action and Kirk mumble to himself or something like that instead of, you know, make official reports into an alien device uh, and, uh, and then show that the other side was hearing it. But then it really didn't make any difference that he was hearing it. He was just, he just came back and said, I've heard everything you've said, but uh, there wasn't anything that he said that was really very useful to the other side as far as I could tell. This was uh, one of the episodes that was uh, filmed at one of like three locations uh, that they used for many of the original series shows. One of them was uh, Griffith Park, which is a big uh, woodsy park in Los Angeles. And uh, the other is uh, the Vasquez Rocks. And uh, that with uh, a little bit of special effects uh, gives it uh, the view of how most planets, uh, as we've been led to believe, are uh, mostly rocks. So uh, that is uh, Arena. 
That is uh, episode 18 of the original series. We hope that uh, if you um, liked this video that you will subscribe to it. Let us know what you think about it and uh, put some comments below as well and see what you think uh, about this. And so until next time, don't go far.